Uh, you shouldn't have hit me, fighter. That was a misplay. You're not allowed to hit warlocks, didn't you know that? It's like, huge mistake number one. Yeah, yeah, warlock class, uh, you have to play around it by only hitting them with ranged weapons. So, yeah, that's, that's a thing. <laughs> Sorry, man. Hey guys, how's it going? Firebox here. I want to show you the Warlock build that I've been running. I just did it on stream last night and I made about 30,000 gold in the span of about three hours. I think Warlock is by far the best solo class in the game. They just received two nerfs. One is that BOC has been reduced from 15 to 10 damage and Shadow Touch has been reduced from three damage and three healing to two damage and two healing. Even with those nerfs, this build is still insane. All this gameplay was post nerf, just to be clear. With that said, let's go over my perks, my skills, and my gear, and my general thought process while playing the game, so that you two can abuse this overpowered class before Iron Mace eventually nerfs it at some point. All right, so we're gonna be rocking Dark Reflection, Soul Collector, Shadow Touch, and Anti-Magic. Anti-Magic is really good, because your robe is going to give you enough resistance with anti-magic combined to be about 50% magic resistance. And clerics don't exist in solos anymore because Iron Mace killed solo cleric. So it's literally a free magic damage reduction perk, which is really good. Shadow Touch has been nerfed from 3 to 2 damage, but it's still pretty good. The 2 healing can make a difference. And hey, you know what? Damage is damage. Warlock doesn't have a lot of other good perks to take. I considered some other ones but I think this is still just fine to take. Soul Collector is busted, especially combined with Dark Reflection. Dark Reflection does 10 damage when someone hits you, and of course Soul Collector, if you kill 10 mobs, does 100% additional damage. Now you think it wouldn't be that much, but this build is stacking will, meaning that with our 47% magical power bonus, on top of our additional damage that we're stacking, Dark Reflection is dealing, I think, roughly 60 damage when someone hits me. If they don't have magic resistance, I can easily hurt them for half their HP, maybe even more, which is kind of absurd. This combined with my current weapon damage means that I pretty much just one to two shot every single person that I fight against. And Phantom Eyes letting you basically just chase somebody down and they can't touch you for six seconds means that there isn't really much counterplay. A lot of classes can't deal with Phantom Eyes, and because we're building decent move speed, we're relatively fast even with Crystal Sword out. And with BOC being allowed to be used right before Phantom Eyes is activated, and the BOC will still be there to hit somebody right after, you don't have to spend the time doing the animation. Meaning that if you do manage to catch up to somebody when Phantom Eyes ends, you will also have BOC up and you're going to hit them for 140 damage total in the head, not including the 60 from Dark Reflection, if they dare hit you. <laughs> so it is very, very strong. I've opted to go without spells. I think spells are really good, but I think the Phantomized BOC is just hilarious and I wanted to give it a try. Now for our build, we're gonna be rocking a Crystal Sword. I opted for one with additional magic damage bonus. Also the magic weapon damage can change based on just random rolls. If you can find one with 17, that would be ideal because it can be lower than this. The higher your magic weapon damage, obviously the better it's going to be and the more damage you're going to get scaling because all of your trinkets are going to have additional magic damage. We're rocking additional on our Ring of Courage, additional on our Ring of Finesse, and of course additional on our Pendants. You don't have to have these as rare quality, even if they're green. As long as you have that additional damage, that's what matters. I've also opted for additional magic damage on my cloak as well. Health seems pretty good for this build. If you can find a Vigilant Cook with 3 magic damage, that's probably ideal. If you can find double rolls like this one, I think I killed a player for this. That's even better, but if you're going for more of a budget build, feel free to just get a Agility Cloak or a Vigilant Cloak with plus 3 additional damage. You'll be perfectly fine. Shadow Mask is by far the best headpiece because there's no move speed penalty and you get 2 Agility which really helps you need move speed with this build in order to catch up the players. 
When you do get this though, of course you're going to need that three additional magic damage and any other bonus stat is fine. Occultist Robe is the best chest piece for a Warlock. It's only five movement speed loss. You get Vigor, which is a really good stat, and the 50 magic resistance, which as I mentioned earlier, is going to help you scale your anti-magic to about 50%, which means that you're going to have a very favorable matchup against other magic dealing classes if you didn't have it. For the gloves, I was running a different pair of gloves for most of my gameplay. I was using leather gloves with agility, but I found these and they were really good, so I figured I'd just run them. But if you're going for a budget build and you don't want to spend an arm and a leg for a pair of gloves, feel free to just grab a purple pair of leather gloves. It's going to give you will, which is good, dexterity, which is good for swinging your crystal sword, and of course the agility, if you can find that extra roll, just helps your move speed out a little bit and catch up the players. Leather leggings are kind of known for not being that great in this game, but because of that, plus two all and move speed are very easy rolls to find, and oftentimes pretty cheap. I got this pair for about 250 gold, and yeah, leather leggings by themselves aren't good, but when you add move speed and additional all stats combined on top of it, turns out they're actually pretty good, and this build really likes will stat because it directly scales your crystal sword damage. For our boots, it's the same exact thing. No one's using Stitch Turn Shoe right now because no one cares about Will. So I'm using these with move speed on top of it to make up for that move speed loss we're not getting from the Lace Turn Shoe. And of course, we can make use of the Will stat with our Crystal Sword. For your utility, you're going to want Blue Pots, Magic Protection Potions, Explosive Bottles because these scale with magic damage, Invis Pots because they can come in handy. I didn't really use these, but... If you catch someone from invis, they're just going to die. General healing and of course a surge kit because we're not a typical warlock. We don't have magic to heal ourselves with the hydra or magic healing. So you just kind of have to do that. The general game plan is either A, catch somebody off guard with creep to a point where, you know, they don't really get a chance to fight back. Or B, use a magic protection potion or a blue protection pot and then cast blow of corruption and phantomize in that order. When you cast both of these, your Phantomize will end, and then you will still have some time to use your BOC. And this build right now, I don't have the footage from the training dummy, but my Crystal Sword is doing 30 damage physical. It's doing 62 magic. It's doing 46 with BOC, and then it's doing an additional two with Shadow Touch. I know in total, it was roughly 140 damage, somewhere around that range. So between that and the 60 from Dark Reflection, one headshot with BOC with Dark Reflection is dealing over or at least 200 damage. 170 of that is magic, and most classes cannot resist magic damage. There's only two classes in the game that have good magic resistance because of how magic scaling works. One is Barb, and there's almost no Barbs right now, because they're not that good in solos. And two is Warlock, but it's fine, because you're both Warlocks, and you both resist magic, so it's kind of an even fight there. Every other class is on their own. I think the counter to this class is Ranger, but there's also no Rangers, and Cleric could be a counter if the class wasn't completely gutted in solo, but it is, and you don't really see them. So this seems to just go unchecked. I just rampaged the dungeon for three hours. It almost felt unfair. I might just play Warlock until Iron Mace gives Warlock the proper nerf they deserve, or if they give other classes an option to counter them. Maybe multi-classing changes some things as far as balance goes, but right now I think it's undeniable that Warlock is the number one class to play. Feel free to copy this build if you want. I have some really great PvP to share with you. If you want to see this kind of gameplay live, I will have a link in the description of this video, so feel free to check that out if you like. That's all I had to say. Enjoy the PvP. Have you guys seen the audio bug as well? Where if you're standing on the other side of a door, there's just no audio. It's very, very strange. Like... Well, I can't push this guy in the open.
I can't fight this guy in like the actual open. That's it. GG. He thought he had me go- Oh my god, he has good gear too. He thought he had me there. He definitely thought he tricked me. GG, sir. Warlock OP, we were both warlocks. <laughs> what do you mean, Warlock OP? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh my god, this guy's really good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, sure, man. I need to just keep an eye out. Make sure I don't get snuck up on or anything. He had troll buzz too? Oh, shoot. I want it all, but I, I can't. I want it all, but I can't grab it all. Buff scout? Nah, is that youth? Nah. No, you're lying. Is that youth? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Is it really? Oh, my God. Someone go, someone run and go tell youth I just killed him. Hurry, hurry, go tell him. <laughs> oh man, my first game on and I kill him, man. Oh no. Oh my god, Tumble? You're, dude, you're actually kind of right. Lieutenant Sama? Wait, is this that? Is this another? Is that that? Is this that YouTuber? Uh, whatever that guy's name is. It sounds really similar. I don't know if it's like a copy though. Surely it's not. I refuse to believe it is. Because what are the odds that I see two different stream, two different like content creators this like quick? Also, his gear isn't that crazy. And I would expect him to be having some pretty crazy gear, personally. It's him? Nah, you lying. Is it really? Oh my god, another streamer, another player down. Damn. Oh, GG then, huh? I love seeing mobs towards the end of the dungeon. Because it means there's probably not players. It may... How can I say that? But this is all clear. So, never mind. Never mind, never mind. Oh my god, I hate creeping now. Oh my god, the meta is even more annoying. Because I feel like I have to creep. But I really, really don't want to creep here. It feels really silly. would lead to the exit. Oh, I'm gonna be honest, I really goofed up. I really thought that exit was just gonna open and I was afraid he was gonna leave. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I was I was so afraid of him leaving that I, I kind of screwed myself there. I didn't expect him to have BOC. I thought he had Phantom Mice too. So I tried to like do like a quick U-turn, and well, that didn't work. It was open. It was it it was no it was open.
I need to be quick here. Oh, that. Oh, oh, oh. I'm I've just never. I've just never heard someone call it blood pact. It's always demon. That was scary. I think he was creeping. No, Shadow Touch doesn't scale. He's geared. Holy, what? He's geared. Uh, all right. More value. Okay. Yeah, I didn't make enough gold yet this stream. So Iron Mace said, here you go. Let me throw another. Let me throw a geared player at you. Sure. Oh my God. Oh my god, are you serious? Okay, dude. Okay. This is actually scripted. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I, got, I got jump scared. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's a naked Timmy! Uh-oh. I feel a little bad. What, what, what was his chance? Nothing. That dark reflection probably hit him for half his health. PDR fighter. There's two people in here. You see it? There was like an after image. Hold up. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that was I was gonna say wait. Fighters don't have a chance with this build. I don't know what fighters are supposed to do. Oh, I know what fighters are supposed to do. Um, they die. Right. I actually feel a little bad for fighters whenever I kill them. Fighters don't, even fighters don't deserve this. Oh, you're geared. Oh my God, he's geared. Oh my God, this is disgusting. <laughs> this is so gross. Oh my God, man. This build is disgusting. What will they learn? You're not allowed to fight warlocks. They're too good. They're too strong. Bow down to your to your overlord class. You're not allowed to fight me. Sucks. <laughs> but yeah, I'm enjoying it because it's overpowered. It's my turn. It's my turn to be overpowered, fellas. 
I've been sitting here on stream dying to these damn warlocks. It's my turn, buddy. That's right. That's <laughs> right. I do feel a little bad killing youth like right on his first game, but it was my first game too, so. next time <laughs> Better luck. oh he's geared he's geared too there you go another geared player there you go i can't be stopped today oh my god he even has my stitch turn shoes oh man oh man Troll? I'm here? Okay. Making sure I was actually here. Like, making sure I was, like, actually playing this game. <gasps> okay. Dude, I, I, I don't even... I don't think Bardic pants sell for very much. Oh my god, he has a troll pelt! He has a troll felt. He has a troll felt. Oh my god. We're just we're just making infinite money today. What is happening? Fire is an interesting choice. magic healing though oh my god look at these pants good pants this. oh wait you know what i should do out of disrespect i get you to be naked where is everybody is it why is it an empty lobby oh they're creeping
scared little baby. You literally came to third party and then you didn't even fight me. Did you take stuff? Did you take stuff off my body? I bet you did. Nope, did not. How are you gonna come third party and then not fight me? Why are you so scared? <laughs> my guy just came, ra tried to rat the corpse, and ran. I forgot to bring explosive bottles, but I've been blessed by an explosive bottle. I heard somebody above me. Yeah, BOC cooldown increased, but I'm still doing just fine. Oh, uh, twice now, uh, uh, Rogue. One time I accidentally pressed G and I sat down. The other time I pressed escape and I couldn't do anything. So yeah, Rogues have caught me off guard for sure. It's always a fun time. Oh no, I set youth back. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus Christ. gonna do he thought he could fight me without boc up but that's not true crystal shard stacks will just kill you yeah he's trying to friendly after he tried to uh don't kill me i don't i didn't even have boc didn't matter yeah dude dark reflection's stupid he probably, I bet you Dark Reflection hit him and like, probably took away like 90% of his health or something. His name's Bissington? I've fought that guy before. I, I've 100% fought this guy. I know, I recognize his name. Anyone else recognize that name? Is it a streamer or something? Or is it just like coincidence? Well, no, we're, we're on three. It, we're just about at three hours now, but it still is pretty crazy. I think I'm gonna play this game kind of safe. I think this might be my last one. I, I'm, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of feeling like this is like about the point where like I can. <laughs> um, I'm kind of feeling like this is probably like a good stopping point. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to like the video. Sub for future content, and comment below what your thoughts are of this build, and your thoughts are of this current Warlock meta. I do want to thank Justin Dube, Barty, and Kid Brutal for supporting this video, alongside my other members. Thank you all. Have a great day.